Thank you. Please be seated. We will go on the record in the matter of State of Utah versus Martin Joseph McNeil. Mr. McNeil is present with his counsel. The state's attorneys are present. We are outside the presence of the jury. Counsel, I'm informed that the jury has reached a verdict. Would you bring them in, please? Thank you. Please be seated. We are on the record in the matter of State of Utah versus Martin Joseph McNeil. He is present with his counsel. The state's attorneys are present and the jury is now seated. Ladies and gentlemen, which of you was selected as the foreperson? Thank you. Has the jury reached a verdict? If you'll provide it to the bailiff, please. I will now request that the clerk read the verdict. Mr. McNeil, if you will stand, please. State of Utah versus Martin Joseph McNeil, we the jury, having reviewed the evidence and testimony in the case, find the defendant as to count one, murder, guilty. <laughs> as to count two, obstruction of justice, guilty. Dated this night, day of November. Thank you. Please be seated. Do either counsel wish to have the jury polled? Yes, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the court will now conduct a poll of each individual juror. I will read each verdict question. Each juror will then be asked if this was his or her verdict. Do each of you remember your juror number? To preserve your privacy, I will use your juror number. As I call your juror number, please advise me if the verdict was in fact your verdict or not. If this was your verdict, please answer yes. If not, meaning you do not agree with the verdict, please answer no. Juror number uh, to begin with, we the jury having reviewed the evidence and testimony in this case find the defendant as to count one, murder, guilty. Juror number nine, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 21, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 29, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 43, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 60, was this your verdict? Juror 64, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 67, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 77, was this your verdict? Yes. We, the jury, having reviewed the evidence and testimony in this case, find the defendant as to count two, obstruction of justice, guilty. Juror 9, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 21, was this your verdict? Yes. 
Juror 29, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 43, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 60, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 64, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 67, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror 77, was this your verdict? I will note that the jury verdict uh, has been provided to me and will be made a matter of the court record, order that the clerk place it in the file. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, on behalf of these parties, I express to you my thanks for your service. Each of you have served at significant sacrifice to your families, your employment, and to your personal affairs. I will advise you at this time that you are now free to discuss the case with the lawyers if you choose to do that. This may be informative to their practice of law and to the legal process. You may also speak to media representatives if you choose, choose to do that. Uh, I have prepared a list of media personnel who are interested in interviewing jurors in the case of State of Utah versus Martin McNeil. With this information in your hands, there should be no reason for media outlets to be contacting you directly. If you choose to contact them, you may do that. Would you provide each of them a, one of these? This will be provided to you on your way out of the courthouse. Remember, you are not required to speak to anyone about the case. If someone demands that you speak to them about the case and you wish that not to happen, please contact the court and I will ensure that that unwanted contact stops. You are now discharged from your duties as jurors Again, with my thanks for your service, all rise. Thank you, please be seated. Mr. McNeil, you have the right to be sentenced no sooner than three days nor more than 45 days from today's date. You also uh, have the right under a statute to have a pre-sentence investigation report prepared by the Department of Adult Probation and Parole. Counsel, do you waive time for sentencing? Yes, sir. I suspect that the sentencing hearing may, uh, you may have witnesses or people who would like to speak. Uh, my thinking is that we should schedule it for a Thursday afternoon. I have January 2nd and January 7th available at 1 o'clock. It's a Thursday. The state can, can, op can accommodate either date, Your Honor. Your Honor, I, I won't be in town on the 2nd. Okay, January 7th at 1 o'clock for sentencing. I will order that this case be transferred to the Department of Adult Probation and Parole for preparation of a pre-sentence report. I will order that Mr. McNeil cooperate fully in the preparation of that report. Is there any need for me to revisit bail today? Your Honor, I believe he should be held without bail given the conviction for first degree murder carrying a 15 to life sentence. If the court chooses to set a bail hearing, we would, have, we would request that it be done as soon as the court could, could be down here from Heber. What is bail set at right now? One million dollars cash. Any, what's the defense's position? He has no ability to make one million dollars cash or he would have paid it a long time ago. Uh, bail will remain in the amount of $1 million uh, cash. If the state wishes me to reconsider that bail, you may file a written motion to do that and request an expedited setting. 
Is there anything further this evening, Council? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Thank you. Nor the defense. Very good, Council. Again, I express my gratitude for the professional way in which you have conducted this matter. Courts in recess. Mm -hmm.